everybody. Welcome into the At Flippin' Hippos YouTube channel. I'm Star the Flippin' Hippo. Today is Monday, August 17th. And because it's a Monday, that means it's time for What Sold on eBay. I was really bad last week about keeping up with the daily shipping photograph on Instagram. So I don't have all the photos to show you this week, but I do have written down um, our sales here so I could still share them with you things have been a little bit slow around here and I think it's a combination of two things uh, we were switched over to the eBay's managed payments on August 5th and we noticed for the first two or three days of that things really slowed down like we saw a huge difference things picked slightly back up into that first weekend and then this past week things kind of dipped down again and got a little slow um we had a really good weekend though which you can see here but i think that a combination between being switched over to the managed payment system and it being summer slowdown we're definitely seeing um slower sales every time ebay changes anything um i feel like your sales slow down when that happens whether it's because they're reallocate reallocating re algorithming <laughs> your listings are being put back into the search engine <laughs> um cassini has to re see all your items and recategorize them and all that in the searches i think that's kind of what's going on with all of our listings as they got switched over to manage payments but we're still doing okay um especially considering it is summer slowdown and all the changes going on um we're not going to complain things are okay they're less than our historical average sell through rates but they're not devastating and our weekends are so great you can see here this weekend we had 35 total sales uh historically at a 0.5 percent sell through rate on our used clothing items and even less than that on our plush for uh friday through monday morning that's three days we should have 30. we have 35. so we're over our average which is good um 33 of those sales were ebay one was Macari and one was Poshmark. And we had several people that bought uh, more than one item, which I always love that because then you can put them in the same bag and you save on shipping. And then um, last Monday, we had 28, 27 eBay and one Posh. So last weekend was a little slower. Um, we bounced back this weekend really great, though. I think a lot of that is due to the fact that a lot of people bought multiple items. The one Poshmark sale, you guys will see in a couple of weeks in my August What Sold on Poshmark, but it was a, a Disney Letterman jacket that sold for $50, so we were tickled pink with that sale. The Macari sale was a Build-A-Bear outfit that sold for over 20 bucks. so overall, things are doing really good. Um, this weekend was definitely a nice bounce back. After we did shipping today, though, things are kind of slow again. We had a couple of sales trickle in. We're getting a lot of low-ball offers. Um, but real quick before we jump over to eBay and look at the um, sales or the items that sold, I can tell you that last Tuesday we shipped out nine. Eight of those were eBay, one was Poshmark. Wednesday we had six total, five on eBay, one grailed. Thursday we had four, that's really low, <laughs> three on eBay, one Macari, and Friday we only had four and all of those were eBay sales. But you can see that our sales would actually be even lower yet if we weren't on different platforms. So I still encourage everyone, you know, get those additional streams of income in, start cross posting on different platforms. Um, you'll really thank me in Q4 because you'll sell a lot more in Q4 if you are cross posted on different platforms. Um, but even right now when things are slow, some of the other platforms, sometimes those sales can help pick up the slack. If you want to try out List Perfectly, um, I'm, I'll have a video pop up uh, up in the right hand corner of this video when it's over, where I interviewed um, the chief marketing manager, chief marketing officer from List Perfectly, and we kind of screen shared you um, how List Perfectly works, went over the different subscriptions that you can pay for to use less perfectly what they entail what they include it's a really good uh, cross-posting tool and if you watch that video um, in the description box at the bottom is a link you can sign up and get 30 percent off your first month so you can try it you know for cheap for one month and if you don't like it you can cancel so 
Um, I do really encourage that though. I do really feel like a lot of times when eBay's slow, the other platforms will pick up the slack. The other platforms do not do anywhere near the volume we do on eBay, um, but they can pick up the slack. If eBay's you know, down two or three sales of where we should be and we can get two or three sales somewhere else, it kind of evens itself out. Okay, let's go on over here. I've picked out some items based on um, the fact that they're either bolo items that I really am excited about to show you guys. I want you guys to be on the lookout for when you're outsourcing, or they're just really good bread and butter items if you're looking to build up a volume based business and um, create filler items and have more listings. I did do a live show on that topic as well, so I'll have that pop up at the end also. And you can watch it if you haven't already. All right, I'm gonna show you all the plush that sold for the whole week uh, because they're my favorite and I like to show them and I like to talk about them. They're my favorite thing to source, photograph, list, talk about, show. I love plush and I sold some plush this week. So let's jump in with this Angry Bird Star Wars Chewbacca. It's a little tiny ball, about five inches, and it is official. Angry Bird Star Wars. You want to make sure that you have those official license tags on anything that you're claiming is a brand uh, trademark or a character just to protect yourself. Um, this guy was 50 cents at Goodwill. He sold for $13.50 and he shipped first class and um, he did take a little while but the angry birds that aren't your typical red birds I've talked about before are the ones you want to grab, the more unique. Here's Ziggy. I believe Ziggy was 99 cents, but he may have been 50 cents. Um, I can't remember if I got him at my usual Goodwill or a different one. So he was either 50 cents or 99 cents. Some of you may remember him from a haul video. I kind of had high hopes for him. I thought he was going to comp really high, being that he's a classic, like vintage character from the comics. He did not. <laughs> he was rather disappointing. He sold for eleven twenty four, and he shipped first class. Paddington Bear was also another disappointment, but um, I've had Paddington Bears before that sold for over $20, $30. When we first started, um, long before we had a YouTube channel, we had run into a couple of Paddington Bears at a yard sale one year, and they sold for like $25, 30 bucks. Um, it could be because this is a Coles Cares, and I've talked about that before. The Coles Cares plush sometimes um, just don't comp as high as the same characters in different brands. But anyway, he was 50 cents, he sold for 10.30, and he did ship first class. Next up, we have a Wild Republic Spotted Sea Lion, or seal, and then um, we have a Mary Meyer Seal Pup, a little tiny baby seal and the reason I'm showing you both is because they sold together to one buyer um, I could you know I'm not sure if they're seals sea lions or sea leopards but um, they're seals or sea lions <laughs> so I usually just put both in the title to cover my butt and it's good to have as many keywords as you can um, I have been talking a lot about seals lately I feel like there's been a couple of what sold videos and haul videos and I've told you guys I do really well with seals for some reason people love seals they're popular they're cute I mean seals are probably in the top three cutest animals in the whole world if you ask me they have cute faces um, but one buyer bought both seals and she sent offers on each it totaled out to uh, $17.50 for both seals and they ship together in a poly bag, first class still. So it's still a good deal for her and for us. Each seal was, uh, sorry, this seal was 50 cents at Goodwill. This guy came out of our wholesale lot. All right, next up we have an Easter Parade bunny plush with a carrot. He was in a recent haul video, so he has not been around for very long. Um, it didn't take long to find him, his new forever home. He's super cute. He's a generic uh, plush though. He's Easter Parade. I've never heard of Easter Parade. He's not a big uh, name brand plush, but he is super cute. He's got his little carrot that he's holding. And um, I put really good keywords in the title, the Easter Parade, uh, rabbit, realistic. 
these realistic animals guys they do really well this is a generic brand and it sold for 23.43 50 cents at the goodwill into 23.43 and he shipped first class next up we have this homer best sloth and he was purchased by a viewer so thank you so so much for supporting us and what we do we always love when our viewers um, purchase items Homer Best is a brand you guys want to keep your eyeballs peeled for. Homer Best is a good brand. And sloths are a good animal. Uh, sloths are very popular. They do really well. And they don't take long to find their new forever homes at all. They are very popular. This guy sold for $17.09. And shipped first class. And he came out of our wholesale lot. Next up we have a Disney store frozen elsa toddler this is elsa as a little girl and she was 50 cents at the goodwill i think elsa's and anna's and olaf's are starting to get a little oversaturated on ebay um, even with this being disney store it didn't comp that high i did take a best offer of 11 and she shipped first class next up we have a goodnight moon rabbit lovey uh, you guys, these lovies, I'm showing them to you every single week. They sell for good money. Some of them are longer tail than others. Some will move really fast. Uh, but even your generic ones from like Target and Kmart, they're going to sell used for 16 to 18 bucks. I've had some generic ones that sold for 11 and 12. Um, this one sold for 14.99, and then there's others that will sell for 20, 30, 40 and up. So keep your eyes open for these. Loveys. They are usually a small security blanket with uh, the head or sometimes they have arms like this one but it's not like an entire plush doll. It's usually just the head and a blanket with it. It shipped first class and it came out of the wholesale lot. Alright guys now we're looking at a feisty pet. <laughs> They're so fun. So these feisty pets are super cute. I really wanted to keep this guy. I decided to list him. Um, he took almost a year to find his new forever home. I got him in Florida last October when we went to visit Casey. We were in Florida. We went to a couple Goodwills. I found him for, I think he was 99 cents. Um, he is a guinea pig and rodents are my favorite, favorite, favorite. I love, I love hippos, but I also really love rodents. Um, he's Cuddles Von Rumblestrut. Anyway, these feisty pets come in all different kinds of animals. I had a narwhal once that I also sold um, that had its tags and everything. Uh, they're all the same. They're super cute. And then you squeeze their face and they get mean. And they're all called feisty pets. Uh, keep your eyes out for them. They're definitely a bolo. This little gunny pig sold for $23.99. He did ship first class. Again, he was very long tail. But I'm willing to sit on plush because they're typically the most longest tail of all slow items. So Cuddles Von Rumblestrut has found his new forever home. Next up we have a Funshine Bear. The, out of all the Care Bears, the ones that sell the fastest for me are this one, the Funshine Bear, and the um, Cheer a Lot, the one with the rainbow. But all Care Bears are good to keep your eyes out for. Any size, um, any brand really. Kelly Toy's good. The vintage ones are really good. But any of the characters, um, Care Bears still move at a pretty good clip and they still go for pretty good money. This one was 50 cents, sold for $14.99, shipped first class. Next up, we have this huge beaver, speaking of rodents that are super cute. And I really kind of wanted to keep this one too, um, but I can't keep them all. So. They spend time with me while they wait for their new forever home and then off they go and I get to have time with them first. But this guy was so cute. Look at his little face and little buck teeth. He is so cute. He came out of the wholesale lot that we purchased from a viewer, Greg, uh, at the beginning of the year. And I took a best offer of 16 on him only because he did weigh quite a bit um, and they paid shipping in addition to the $16 best offer. He did ship in a large mailer box, uh, priority box, and he was like three pounds total once he was in the box. He was a pretty big um, and heavy beaver. Here, let me see if I can find 
uh, 17 inches. So, you know, he's a little over, he's like a foot and a half tall and pretty heavy. Um, next up, we have Boyd's Bear Millie. She's new. She did not sit around for very long. Um, I think she was like just in a haul video maybe a week or two ago. She was 50 cents at the Goodwill. And I've had other Boyd Spares that sat for a very long time before they sold. And I've had some that have flipped really fast. I think it just depends on the bear. And, um, you know, they all have like names and they're all from different collections. So, and some have costumes and some look like flowers or they're dressed up to look like flowers. I think it just depends on the bear. I do think that Boyd's Bears are absolutely worth sourcing, especially if you are out and you find them for a dollar, 50 cents, a quarter. If your cost of goods is a dollar or less, or if you can get a bulk buy, like if somebody had a whole bunch out at a yard sale and you could get them to give you all of them for a good price, snatch them up. I really think they're absolutely, um, they're good bread and butter plush, but some of them are bolos. Anyway, Millie here is a best dressed bear. She's cute. She sold for a best offer of $12.59 and she shipped first class. Okay guys, we're moving into the clothing now. These are American Eagle men's jeans. Um, I know I mention all the time that I love selling men's clothing, especially men's jeans. Uh, they move faster than women's. They sell for a little bit more. So American Eagle for women, I typically start around 21 and I started these um, at 25 and they were on our 25% off sale over the weekend. So they sold for $23.43. But I did start them at 25, which is really good uh, for American Eagle. I mean, these are used American Eagle, but they're men's. They're size 32, boot cut, good size, good style for men. They were 99 cents at the Goodwill. They shipped in a padded flat. Next up, we have these Polo Ralph Lauren Men's Corduroy Pants. Um, these were just listed. I want to say they were 99 cents at the Goodwill. Um, they may have come out of our wholesale lot. And then that would have made them a dollar. Um, I just listed them Thursday or Friday and they sold over the weekend. So these moved really fast also. They're Polo Ralph Lauren Corduroy Pants. They sold for $25.30. Ralph Lauren's not that great of a brand anymore. It's oversaturated. Typically, like the men's polo shirts take forever to sell. But for uh, the corduroy pants, I definitely do say keep your eyes out for these. I grab any corduroy pants I find, typically any brand, when I find them on the 99 cents day. I especially like finding men's because, again, I list them a little higher. And also, these were a size 40. And that's a really big size for men. So that's probably another reason why they sold so fast. And I was able to get the $25. They did ship in a padded flat. You guys may remember seeing the Michael Jackson hoodie. It came out of a wholesale lot. I did do a whole video um, where I showed this. It averaged out to a dollar a piece for every item in that lot. And it sold for $24.99 and it shipped in a padded flat. Next up, we have an Untuck It. Untuck It's a Bolo brand. I've been talking a lot about these lately because we've been getting a lot of them lately. We've only ever found, I think, one in the wild. The Untuck It's we've been getting have been coming to us in the wholesale lots we've been buying. Um, most of them sell on Poshmark, to be honest, before they sell on eBay. This one sold for $28 on a best offer, shipped first class. Next up, we have a Dickies chore coat. This came out of a wholesale lot, so it averaged out to around a dollar. Cost of goods for everything in the lot. We took a best offer on this Dickies coat of $60. We shipped it in a box, and it was like $8. It was just a little bit more than a padded flat would have cost, but it was so big and bulky, um, it wasn't going to really fit in a padded flat. So we did ship it in a box and um, that's off for 60, sorry. Next up we have a PGA Tour women's golf skirt. We just recently got another wholesale um, lot. I've kind of mentioned on the channel a couple of times. I didn't really do a haul video with it. 
uh, another reseller is getting out of clothing, so we purchased all of our clothing from her. It was about 800 pieces. Averaged out to, with shipping and everything, about $2 per piece. But there's some really great stuff in that lot. A lot of Miss Me jeans and men's pearl snaps. So it's definitely worth paying up. A little over 2 bucks for each item. I say paying up, and most of you are like, Star, $2 is not paying up. But we usually get everything for $0.99. Cents. Or when we do wholesale, when we purchase out wholesale, uh, we usually average out to $1.50, sometimes even a quarter a piece. But this lot was worth it. She had some really good stuff. There was a whole box full of all kinds of women's um, skorts like this. Skort. It's a funny word to say. Skort. They're golf skirts that have the shorts built in. There were a ton of these. I've just started listing them and getting through them last week. This is the first one to sell, so it was really fast. Uh, took a best offer of $17.99, and it shipped first class. So keep your eyes peeled for these skorts. Um, there's PGA Tour. There's just a bunch of different brands that um, EP um, are good sports brands. Um, so keep your eyes out for those. I do believe that they are popular and um, they all comped pretty high. Why am I showing you a $7.99 set remote? Because one buyer bought three and again I love when folks buy more than one item. So one person bought three so three remotes totaled to $23.97 and they all shipped together um, we individually wrapped each of the three in a wrap of bubble wrap and then they went into a bubble mailer and still shipped first class, like 10 ounces, all three. So for just about the cost of shipping one, we shipped three, saved on shipping. Uh, I just absolutely love when people buy bulk. Again, remotes are a bolo. If you ever have an opportunity to buy remotes and wholesale, jump at the chance we have been selling them steadily for a year now we got our first 3,000 in last September um, and then we did another couple wholesale lot buys with Casey we sold a bunch off to other resellers so those of you that got them know what I'm talking about they're super easy to photograph super easy to list um, some will sell fast some sit for a while but they don't take up a lot of room in storage while you're waiting for them to sell they don't weigh anything they're really lightweight so they're cheap to ship and a lot of times folks will buy more than one uh, we have a lot of repeat customers and we can tell by their names on the labels that they're they're like either repair shops or shops that sell DVD VCR combos or stereos and they'll come in and just buy three four five whatever we have and when you buy in wholesale um, you always have the chance that you're going to run into the fact that you're going to have the same make and model of several uh, of the same remotes. You can make one listing, multiple quantities. It's, it's great. So I just wanted to bring up remotes. Again, I haven't talked about remotes that much recently, um, but they are probably the best thing that we bought or purchased in 2019. Um, they definitely um, held us afloat at the beginning of this year when things got really slow and things were kind of scary at the beginning of shutdown and uh, clothes got really slow for a while. We were still selling remotes every day. So if you ever have the opportunity to buy them in wholesale, absolutely do. If you see them at church sales, rummage sales or whatever, and you can get like a whole bucket full or whatever for a couple bucks, grab them up folks. They are worth it. All right, now we're gonna look at some jeans that have no brand. Why? because they are plus size and they still sold for $21.99. I found, I believe these are a pair that I found in our inventory when I was going through it, or I found them in a death pile somewhere. Um, you know, when we were at the beginning of the shutdown and I was just looking anywhere and everywhere for stuff to list. Um, I decided to go ahead and try them because they're plus size, so I did list them. They're skinny. They're size 20. They're nice looking jeans. Um, so they did sell for $21.99 even without a brand. So when I tell you guys that the big sizes do well, even um, like Gloria Vanderbilt, nameless ones, brandless like this, you can list them for over 20 bucks because they're bigger and people will buy them. Alright, last and not least, 
Wonderful World of Disney Woman's Hoodie. This came out of a wholesale lot. I believe this one was from uh, the one where everything averaged out to a dollar. So not the one that we paid a little over $2 per piece, but the one before that, we've been buying so much stuff, guys. We're just listing our faces off. Anyway, this averaged out to about a dollar. Cost of goods. I did take a best offer on it of $25.19. And um, it did ship in a padded flat. It was kind of fun to finagle it in there, but it did fit. And uh, it's just a nice Disney uh, plus size. Again, there you go. Again, that plus size. It sold uh, within a day of being listed. I mean, it went really fast for good money. So look for those bigger sizes. Look for those recognizable characters like Mickey and Michael Jackson. It is the season where people are going to start looking for sweatshirts and hoodies. We're getting closer to September and Q4 in the autumn. So keep your eyes out for stuff like that. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Let me know any questions you have. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up before you leave. It really helps the channel. If you haven't already and you'd like to, please subscribe to our channel. Help us feed a hungry hippo. And don't forget to join our Facebook group, Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod. There's a link down below to join. Free to join. It's a really great group of people. And, um, oh, I guess if you want to email me, flippinhipposhelp at gmail.com. And we're also on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Flippin' Hippos on all social media. Until next time, guys, go be productive, go make some money, and as always, thank you so, so much for watching and for all of your support for our channel and everything we do here. Y'all are the best. Bye.